Hey everybody, Coach Ryan here. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I've made a little bit of a mess today, but that's what happens when you meal prep. Just a, just a little bit of mess. So welcome today. I'm gonna be showing you um, just some easy ways to get some food prepared for the week so that you're not in that moment of what's there to eat, there's nothing to eat, I don't feel like cooking it right now. You'll already have some healthy options available in the fridge. <laughs> My dog's over there gagging, sorry about that. Um, you already have some healthy options already cooked, ready to heat up and eat just in a jiff, okay? So, because I don't know about you guys, but you know, when you're busy, you're either working or whatever the case is, you're busy, and you're hungry and it's time to eat and you just don't feel like, you know, making rice or you don't feel like grilling chicken or you don't feel like doing anything, especially at lunchtime, like in the middle of the day, it's so annoying, right? So my favorite thing to do every Sunday is to prepare something that I will have available for the week. So if you've watched past episodes, I've done soups, I've done stir fries, I've done egg muffins, I've done turkey meatloaf muffins, I've done all kinds of other meals that you can prep ahead, keep in the fridge and eat, and those are all great. But today, I wanted to show you um, kind of a variety of things that I'm gonna have available to eat this week. Because like I said, it's been busy, I've been home way too much, eating at home a lot, and we're just getting tired. We're getting tired of the same old, same old. So this, this actually, to be honest, is pretty typical week for me. So I'm going to show you. Hey mom. Hello. hello. Um, so I'm going to show you. And before I do, I want to say that we, we as humans tend to make everything super complicated. And the number one question I get from clients is, what do I eat? Like, I don't know what to eat. I never have anything to eat. What can I eat? What can I eat? And I think the problem is, is that we're trying to be too, too fancy or too complicated. Hey, Tanya. And so just remember, keep it super simple. The KISS method, keep it super simple. Find some proteins, find some carbs that you like, find some vegetables you like. Don't overcomplicate it. That is the biggest, biggest problem that people have. Thank you, Tanya. All right, so I'm gonna flip my camera over to Handy Dandy Man. <laughs> handy Dandy Camera Man. In fact, let's say hi to Brian really, really quick. I'm trying to figure out how to change this because all of a sudden it's different looking. Hi. Huh. He's the beer man, by the way, yeah. which is a part of a healthy diet, if you ask me. All right, so here you go. Oh, is that right? Yep, that's right. <laughs> I confused myself. Okay, so let's get cooking. I have already done a lot of the prep work because I didn't think you wanted to watch that. And I started prepping at 12.30. It is now 1.04. So, and by the way, during that 30 minutes, I also helped put away some dishes. I also did several other things, so it wasn't like 30 minutes intense prep. So this is not gonna take as long as you think it will. Prepping ahead, again, is not as difficult or as complicated as you might think. Okay, so Brian, come on over here. We're gonna start out with one of my very, very favorite things. I have this Instant Pot, okay? Instant Pot. In fact, it doesn't look pleasant. Or something's up. I'm breaking it. <laughs> anyway, I think it's right. It just usually the lights are on it. I'm like, what's going on? Anyway, um, the Instant Pot is great. If you don't have one, no big deal. But I want to show you my favorite thing to make in it. People make soups, they make meats, they make um, all kinds of stuff. But my favorite thing to make is hard boiled eggs. Okay? So I want to show you something. Come on, right here, Brian. So you look in. I have this little like egg holder that I found. Um, I don't know, Target, somewhere like that. And I just had to have it. I just wish it was not yellow because that's not my favorite color. But anyway, all you do is put it into the Instant Pot, right? And I'm just gonna fill it up with some eggs. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, it's great because then they don't roll around. You don't have to have one of these holders, but it does help them from rolling around and breaking. Okay, now I thought I had more eggs today than I do, but oh well. So we have like seven-ish eggs in there. It'll make up to nine. And why in the world would you want hard boiled eggs? Well, they are a quick snack, they're a good protein, and they're tasty. And I don't know anyone that doesn't like a hard boiled egg. So if you don't, then don't make them. 
okay? So I put the eggs in. I have about a cup of water. I'm gonna pour it in. Okay, we're gonna seal the lid. You guys, is this already blowing your mind how easy it is? Okay, make sure that the thing's on seal. And on mine, I actually have an egg button. So I'm gonna hit the egg button. It gives it five minutes. You could do a pressure cook on five. I used to do six until I noticed the egg button. I was like, why am I not using the egg button? And guess what? It's already going. It's already going. Okay. So it's on. It's, it's heating up. It'll take a little while to pressurize and heat. And then the five minutes to cook. But that's good because we have other things to take care of right now. Okay. So I'm just going to. Oh, by the way, this bowl is going to be an ice bath for the eggs when they're done. I'm going to get there when it's time. I'm just going to throw this over here. You don't have to follow me. Okay. Next up. Next up. We are going to come on over here so they can hear me talk. Um, next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make um, salad dressing. Okay, the salad dressing is going to double not only as a salad dressing but also as a marinade for some chicken breasts. Okay, now I'm not going to pre cook the chicken breasts, although some weeks I do, but this week I'm not because we're not going to eat them till Tuesday. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and marinate them today. Do you know how amazing and moist and tasty it will be by Tuesday? Oh, so good. So I'm gonna make the marinade slash dressing and then I'll have the dressing ready for my um, salads and veggies and whatever. So here is my favorite thing, um, mason jar, right? I'm gonna make a white balsamic, just vinaigrette, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and here's the thing, you guys, I actually do have a recipe that I can share with you, but today I'm gonna do it just kind of like eyeballing it because that's what I prefer. For some reason, I just like it better. So I've taken a one very large garlic clove, okay, and chopped it, chopped it, minced it, okay, put it in. Okay, I'm just gonna put it into my mason jar. I missed like half of it, by the way. Can you come over closer to the yeah. Okay, and then, um, then, oh shoot, what do I want next? Oh, Dijon mustard, okay? So garlic, let me say really quick, if you don't like, like if, if fresh garlic bothers your stomach or it kind of sits with you all day, then what you could do instead is just use a little garlic powder or maybe onion powder, or you could do shallots if they don't, you know, whatever doesn't bug you as much. But I have to tell you that the garlic is like a major, major part of this. So now I'm just gonna put in just a plain old, look, Dijon mustard. So I'm just gonna squeeze some in, <laughs> right? I don't know, tablespoon? Eh, we're gonna add a little more, okay? Cause I'm gonna make a pretty big jar here. Then we're just gonna take some basic honey. If you have a local honey you love, then rock on with that, okay? This is just a really mild honey. And I'm just gonna pour it in. So um, about the same amount as the Dijon. Okay, I'm actually gonna touch a little bit more. I actually like it a little sweeter. It has a wonderful flavor. This is just a really basic, basic um, vinaigrette dressing, okay? Nothing too fancy. So we got the, the big flavors are the garlic, the Dijon, and the honey. And then what I'm gonna do, well actually I'm gonna add a little parsley. These are just dried parsley flakes. Honestly, I don't really taste them, but I think it looks prettier if you have a little green in there. So boop, there we go. Can you see in there, guys? Hey, hey, Kelly. Hey, Beth. Hey, Anita. What's up? My handy dandy man. That's right, Tanya. And then I have like this little bowl of kosher salt. You got to be careful though, because I've been getting a little, I've been getting a little too pinchy with my salt lately, and um, I think I've been having a little too much sodium because it's so fun to pinch that I was maybe starting to pinch too much. So. Anyway, there's that. You can always add a little bit more salt, but you can't take it out. So you can start with just a little, okay? I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, next up is, I use, I don't care about the brand, whatever, whatever I can find at the store, but white balsamic vinegar, I love it. You can use regular as well, or you could do, use um, apple cider vinegar or red wine vinegar, totally up to you. I just have been loving this white balsamic, okay? So I'm gonna pour it in. And here's, here's the thing. I like a pretty vinegary tasting dressing. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Again, I'm not telling you amounts right now because this isn't really about the recipe. It's more about how easy it is. 
to make your own dressing and marinade, okay? So I like it, I like it pretty strong, okay? Which is probably more than most recipes call for. But this is what I like. And I especially like it more vinegary when I'm gonna use as a marinade. I feel like it penetrates the meat a little bit better. <laughs> I totally just made that up. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds good though, right? <laughs> okay. So um, that's when I wish I went to culinary school. I'm like, maybe I would have known those things. Anyway, this is just olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I'm pouring some in there. It may need a little bit more. Again, I will taste it and decide if I need a little bit more oil or a little more salt, whatever. Look at this. Super easy. Is our messages? Or what's the difference between regular and white? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a really great question. It's a really I, I I really don't know. I think it tastes I think it tastes a little more mild, but I don't know like why it's white versus the dark. I have no idea. Um so make sure the lid is on super duper tight. And shake it. <laughs> and it's fun. Um, the other day, I, just last night, I made some. I made like a little mason jar of it to go on a salad because we had um, friends over for social distancing, socializing, of course. Um, and I like started to shake it and it wasn't really sealed and it was like, psh, psh. <laughs> gotta watch out for that. All right, so there it is, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, like I told you, is I am going to, I have this bag, there's four chicken breasts in here. And they're very nice. I got them from um, Trader Joe's. Again, I don't work for Trader Joe's, but I totally should because I totally love them. But four chicken breasts, this is a great price. There's like no fat on them. <gasps> and one just fell on the floor. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me pick it up. <laughs> I swear to you, I'm gonna wash this off. <laughs> oh. I love it. Now, if this was not live, I would pause and like not show you that part, but you know what, man, this is real life. <laughs> I think it's okay just washing it. Okay. <laughs> well, good thing nobody, none of you are coming over for dinner. She might wonder where that chicken's been. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well, hang on. I feel like I need to wash my hands now, okay? Because I just touched raw chicken. So, um. <laughs> Brian's laughing at me. All right, hang on, I'm coming back. Anyway, I, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour the marinade into the bag of chicken that is now washed. Ooh, but now there's gonna be slimy chickens. I'm just gonna have to mop the floor too. All right, so I'm gonna reshape, and then I'm just seriously gonna pour um, about a quarter of this. Well, just enough. Well, that was more than a quarter, about a half. I'm not sure I understand. Now my watch is asking me questions. What's going on? <laughs> okay, I'm still giggling about dropping the chicken. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it's really, it's really quite entertaining to me. <laughs> okay, see what I'm doing? I'm massaging the chicken breast with the marinade. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is put these in the fridge. So I'm just gonna do it really quick, okay? And then we'll move on to the next thing. So, so look how easy it was to make your own dressing with very few ingredients, okay? Very few ingredients. Um, now not only do I have chicken ready to go for Tuesday, but now I have a salad dressing for quick salads. And by the way, I always buy the bags of our ready-made, or ready-to-go salads, like. Sometimes I like crunchy romaine, sometimes I want spring mix, sometimes I want spinach, sometimes I like it all together, sometimes I like more of a cabbage mix. So when you buy those and have them ready to go, you guys, super easy meals, super fast, okay? So come on right here really quick. There, um, I think that the, yeah, the eggs are actually getting close to being done. Now over here, what I'm gonna do is I've put four cups or one box of chicken broth unsalted into a pan and I am going to start, I'm going to heat that up so it will boil. Then I'm going to make some basmati rice, okay? Oh my gosh, can you believe I'm making white rice? Isn't that like against the dieting rules or something? Probably if you follow diets, but I don't. This is a lifestyle and I absolutely love white basmati rice and I love it with everything that I'm making today. So 
Um, that's what we're doing, okay? I have no idea why this paprika is sitting here, but we're gonna take it with us. So anyway, I wanted to get that boiling while you know the eggs are going, the chicken broth is boiling for the rice, we have the marinade and the dressing done, and now we're gonna come on over and I'm gonna show you what I've done here. I've, I've already pre-chopped two bell peppers, one yellow, one red, okay? And we're gonna, in a minute, I'll saute those, but what I wanna get working on is my sweet potatoes. So our two grains that I'm pre-making this week are gonna be, or my two like starchy carbs, is the rice, because I have a starchy carb with most of my meals, okay? Especially on a like hardcore workout day. Um, for me, because I teach fitness, I have several workouts. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm exhausted and I need carbs. So I'm gonna eat rice or my next favorite um, carb is sweet potatoes. So what I've already done is I took two large sweet potatoes um, and an onion, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I've already cut, like chopped them up and I tried to make them similar sizes, right? Just like all the pieces are similar size so that they cook evenly. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil. Okay, now you gotta be careful because we can really get too much fat, too many extra calories by using too much oil. Now, that's probably a little over a tablespoon, okay, or maybe more. But I'm just gonna toss really quick, just toss that. Um, and you know what else I wanna do is I have these extra you know how sometimes when you break a big clove of garlic, like a big bunch of garlic, they like fall apart? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just peel these real quick and add them to my um, sweet potato mix, okay? So really quick, I'm gonna see if I can peel these. Did you see how I did that? I just take the edge of my knife, lay it against the garlic clove, and smack it, okay? Now, if you smack hard enough, it'll smash it a little bit, which is great because that gets the flavors coming out, okay? This, this one looks a little funny. I'm gonna leave that one out, okay? Um, now, some of these are pretty big, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. Let's see if I can like throw more things on the floor, right? All right, um, here we go. And let me do two more. Because you guys, when, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these potatoes, onions, and garlic cloves in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or longer, just depending on how long you like, you know, what you want them to look like. Um, and I will tell you what, these, getting a little bite of this roasted garlic, holy moly, it's like flavor burster, okay? But again, if you don't like garlic, then don't do it. Don't do it. Actually, I'm gonna cut these in quarters, okay? That's good. Some of these are not very big, so I'm gonna leave them in there. All right, so super duper easy. I'm just gonna stir them in, and I'm gonna add a pinch of this salt, okay? Now, I do love using like Himalayan pink sea salt, but, um, but you know, salt is salt is salt, so I'm just today, using just some kosher salt. I like the big chunks of salt, okay? Now, it doesn't look super oily, and that's okay because they will produce their own moisture from the garlic and the onion. So I'm just gonna spread it on this. I already put parchment paper, too, on the baking sheet because um, just easier cleanup, okay? I hear the eggs beeping over there, so that's awesome. All right. So let's throw these in. I like to spread them out as much as possible so they get cooked. And you want it to be hot so they don't steam. You want them to, to roast, not steam. They get mushy if they steam, okay? So I'm just gonna slide them in the oven. I'm gonna set a timer. I like to, I, sometimes I flip them, sometimes I don't. Um, today I'm just gonna let them cook. Set it and forget it, okay? Meanwhile, we have this cooking. Right before I go over to the, to start working on the eggs, I'm gonna get some taco meat going. So you see, we've got a lot going on here. You don't have to do all of this, but this is gonna make life so awesomely easy this week, okay? So I'm just gonna open up, I have a pack of 99% um, fat-free ground turkey, 
You can get whatever kind you like, 93.7, 90.10, whatever. I like the really lean, okay? Um, so, especially when I'm eating more carbs, I try to eat less fat. Carbs or starch and fat aren't really friends. So, if I'm gonna have higher starchy carb things like rice and sweet potatoes, then I'm gonna keep my, low, my fat a little bit lower. So, that means in my meats too. That's why I have really lean ground turkey, really lean chicken breasts that are cleaned off <laughs> and marinating, okay? So, because this is lean, I am gonna add a, just a little bit of oil to the pan just so it won't stick real bad, okay? It's like you don't wanna take like a really lean meat and then add a ton of fat to it, right? But at least it's healthy fat, it's an olive oil. Okay, so that's going in there. And I'm just gonna swish this around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna mush it out. I'll be adding some seasoning to this and sticking it in a container for quick things like taco salad. Um, I'm gonna make a bowl. My One of my very favorite things to eat is taco meat with those roasted potatoes. Okay, and green salsa. Oh, it's so good. And then also I'm gonna saute some peppers, which I probably won't do right now, but I just wanna show you that I will be doing that for the week so that I have some veggies ready to go too. So you can make an amazing meal out of ground turkey or beef if you'd prefer that, but like a taco, a little bit spicier with the sweetness of those sweet potatoes with some um, bell peppers. Oh, you guys, it's really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna get that cooking. Meanwhile, I just noticed that we have boiling, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that called, Brian? Broth. Broth. <laughs> okay, so I am going to turn this down a little bit. I'm making a double batch, so I'm going to do two cups, because by the way, this isn't just for me, okay? I know that other people in the family are going to eat the rice and the potatoes, Probably nobody else is gonna eat that turkey meat, so that'll be my lunch probably every day this week. So lucky for me, right? So I'm not gonna add salt to this, you totally could. And by the way, I did use an unsalted low sodium chicken broth. I'm gonna put this on simmer or really low, and I'm gonna cook it for um, 18 minutes. So I'm gonna set a watch timer because I've already used the timer on my other on the stove. Well, we'll go 15 and check it. Okay? So how are we all doing? Any questions in there yet? What I don't like is that it gets soggy. Oh, the potatoes, yeah. Hey, Marcus. Whoop, whoop. Oh, and the, yeah. Oh, you don't like the veggies? Like, Tanya, let's talk about that for a second. You mean when you pre-cook veggies and they get soggy? Is that right? One tip is don't cook them as long if you're gonna pre-cook because as they sit in the fridge, they will um, soften up a bit. So if you like peppers and onions, I would say undercook them just a tad so that they continue, um, you know, if they soften a little bit, it won't be quite as soggy, maybe, if that's what you meant. Yeah, that's what she meant. All right, cool. Now things like zucchini and like some of those softer vegetables, I, I don't actually like cooking ahead too much. So I like the heartier, like the peppers and onions. I also like to pre-cook Brussels sprouts, but I was gonna do that today, but I think I'm gonna hold off and do that midweek because I'll run out of these other veggies. Okay, see, this is great, right? Now, there's not gonna be any um, fat to drain off, which, by the way, when I do a higher fat meat, I always drain it because it's just so gross to me. <laughs> now, you don't have to, but I just, I can't stand like watching meats like sit in grease, okay? So this is going pretty well. I'm just gonna lower that so I can go and take care of the eggs. And we're, we're, we're getting close, you guys. I won't finish everything. Like you won't see the rice finished, but that's okay. But I do want to show you this. I'm gonna get some ice water. I'm gonna get some ice in my bowl. And some water. Hang on. Hey, check it out. We have this like pot filler that I forget to use, but right now I'm gonna use it. Woohoo! I have to walk all the way so far to that sink. I don't know how I do it. How did I live without a pot filler? 
It's just funny to me. Okay, so actually, we need to vent this. Okay, so watch out. Here it goes. Wait, is it done? Yeah. Oh, there's not much to vent, so that's good. Usually when you vent the um, Instant Pot, you better watch out, sister, because there's gonna be some serious steam coming out and you can get burned really bad. So if you haven't used an Instant Pot yet, please, please just be careful of that. All right, it's done. When this little like metal thing pops down, that means it's safe to open. If this little metal thing, can you see that? If it was up still, I would not dare open this. Okay, you don't wanna get burned. But we're just gonna open, okay? I forgot tongs. So I'm just gonna use some tongs because these are hot little puppies. And I'm gonna take them and put it into the ice bath. Okay? Now the reason, oh, that one already peeled, but we're gonna stick it in there because it'll help them stop cooking. Cause you know, have you ever had a hard boiled egg that just kicks, gets cooked way too much? And it's like eating rubber? Yeah, I don't like that. So these are gonna just, sit in the bath for a few minutes, okay? While I go season our turkey burger, okay? So, I turned down the heat because I didn't want this burning, because I literally am gonna eat this this week, so I don't wanna mess up my food, okay? All right, so another thing I love to make myself, ooh, that's bad, is taco seasoning. So, um. I don't have very much left, but I just, again, use mason jars. And I put this in here. I put paprika, chili powder, ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder that I forgot, and then oregano. So all of those make an amazing, oh, and salt, make an amazing taco seasoning with no preservatives, no junk, and then you can decide how much to add to it. Now, if you just like getting like a taco mix at the store, that's fine, as long as it doesn't bother you. I mean, I don't think it's killed anyone, so it's fine. Again, keep it simple. But if you wanna make a nice, tasty um, taco seasoning, out of seasonings that most people have, then this is the way to do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it in. Okay, I'm just gonna use that. I might normally add more. And then I'm gonna add, look, dun, 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 I'm using this thing. I had a friend over last night and she was like, do you actually use that? And I was like, not really, but I've already used it twice today. Okay, we're just gonna add some water. Squish it around. I'm just gonna let it kind of simmer in there, okay? Cool? All right. So that doesn't look very pretty right now. Okay, I want it to blend in just a little bit better, but anyway, you get the idea. I'll fix, I'll mess with this later. I'll probably add a little bit more seasoning before I put it up, but you get the idea here. All right, so let's go peel some eggs. But by the way, when I'm done with them, I'm gonna put them in um, a container. We'll use this container. Okay, so I am going to you gotta watch this, this is so amazing. You know how annoying it is when you boil eggs and you can't peel them and you end up like peeling half the egg white away and it, you're just like, ah, well it drives me bonkers. I cannot stand it. So this has been a miracle. I hope it works now that they're done. It's like under pressure here. Actually, it's never not worked, but what I'm gonna do is take this egg, I'm gonna hit the bottom and the top and then I'm just gonna gently roll. And then I just peel the whole thing off. Look, ta-da! Is that not amazing? And then what I do is I dunk it in the water, get the little pieces of eggshell off, and pop it in. So I'll do one more. This one was already kind of peeled, but look. Like, holy cow. Like, whoop! They just slip right on out of there. See that? I'm gonna do one more, because it's so fun. I mean, be careful you don't mush on the egg too hard though because you can crack them in half. Okay, look. Easy, easy, easy. Woo-hoo-hoo. Okay, well, I won't bore you and do all the rest of them, but that is super, super easy. All right, so we have marinating chicken. We have a salad dressing ready to go. We have potatoes in the oven, rice on the stove. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit now that I see it. 
eggs ready for snacks, breakfast, um, add the salads. Okay, the only thing I'm not gonna cook, because I feel like this is taking too long, is I'm gonna saute my peppers. Okay, so over here, I have all these extra things. I did have out yesterday, I made, we made chicken and vegetable kebabs. So I actually posted the picture earlier, but um, I had some leftover peppers and onions that I was actually gonna add to the potatoes and I just forgot in the middle of this. So I might just saute those up tomorrow and throw them in an omelet and then save these. I'm gonna saute them up in just a touch of olive oil. I'm gonna add a little salt. I'm gonna keep it really simple so that I can vary it. I can throw them, again, with my eggs on top of a salad and a taco bowl. You can make a quesadilla. So I don't eat gluten, but, and it's not the super most healthy thing ever, but I like to get gluten-free on um, tortillas. And I will put a little bit of the taco meat, some of the sauteed veggies. Um, I don't really, I wouldn't add more rice though, because that's two starches. I like to eat just one starch at a time. But, um, that, you know, and I put a little bit of fake cheese because I don't eat dairy, but um, you can make a little quesadilla out of it. So really with these few basic staples of food, I have several ideas and different things I can do with meals. Um, especially at lunchtime when you don't feel like, you know, making something. And, and I'm not saying sandwiches are bad for you at all, but, you know, that's not really a go-to for me, especially since I don't eat a lot of bread. So, like, sandwiches are out. So I need things like bowls, and I need things like salads, and I need soups, and I need things like that. So this is just a start. And then finally, one more thing I want to say. You'll see this lovely uh, fruit tray. This, again, we had somebody over last night, and she was very nice to bring a fruit tray, and it, a lot of it didn't get eaten. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna put it into a bowl, okay? And then I'm gonna have it to go with like a snack, would be a great hard-boiled egg or two with a cup of fruit, okay? And you get some healthy, clean carbs with a protein. So that would be a great snack. So the reason I bring that up is a lot of times on Sundays, you can go to the grocery store and they're gonna have these kinds of fruit trays and veggie trays, a lot of times they have them on sale. So it's a great way to stock up on like snacks, um, so fruits, you could eat like Greek yogurt with some fruit on top, there's so many options. So just, you know, get out of the box, keep it simple, don't feel like you have to have specific recipes, make simple, healthy, tasty food that you love, and it will make everything so much easier for you, okay? So I'm gonna take that back, thanks Brian. Let me show you this meat over here. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> You don't have to mop the floor anymore. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> All right, sorry about dropping chicken on the floor. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. It just shows you that real life, right? That's the kind of stuff that happens <laughs> to the best of us. <laughs> All right, well, um, if there's any more questions, great. I'm gonna turn that meat off. I'm gonna, I don't want, oh, by the way, when you're making rice on the stove, don't peek at it. Once you lift that lid, you let the steam out and it ruins the cooking process. So don't touch it. Don't look at it. Okay. We got the eggs over here. See, remember we got the eggs. So I hope that you will be inspired to do a little bit more prep. Notice I did not say, okay, I'm going to make 10 containers with steamed broccoli and chicken and the perfect amount of rice. No, 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 no. I can't do that. Cause to me, that's not real. If I have an entire refrigerator full of like the exact same meal for the whole week, I will rebel and I will not eat it, you know? So this way I have a little flexibility, a little creativity that I can work with, okay? You guys, um, Max wants some turkey. Can I pet that? <laughs> yeah. So um, by the way, yeah, my dog did lick the floor where the raw chicken was. I think I will still not put it anyway, just in case to be on the safe side for myself. But um, all right, you guys, thank you. Thanks so much for watching and hi, Christy. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. I'm gonna, hey, one thing I wanna say to you really quick if you're still here. I have a little, like I have a problem with my email list. Like suddenly it's like something's wrong. So I'm in the middle of switching it. So if you are not getting emails from me, please let me know if you want them. If you don't, cool. Um, so I'm working on that. But also, oh, I am going to, I can't remember what I was gonna tell you. Hey, hey Kathy. All right, all right. Um, so 
what I was gonna tell you is I'm gonna post now a schedule for the next six weeks of what I'm gonna be cooking. So if you want me to cook something, you better tell me so I can get it on the schedule, all right? So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your Sunday. It's time to go back outside and do more planting of pots. So um, I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks, bye.